Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the game. And so this week I've been working on the cutscene system some more. I've actually been building this tool out. You may have noticed last week, well, it's changed a lot from last week. Last week you just kind of dragged different scriptable objects together and that kind of formed a cutscene. But now the scriptable object is only the actual action part of the cutscene, how long it lasts and everything else everything connected to it is completely uh its own they have their own fields now which is cool okay so before i explain it let me just show you what happens so we'll go into play mode and we run along we hit this cutscene now there's a trigger that's around, uh, I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see my finger, so that's a bit stupid. There's a box around here. You'll see when I hit it, because control will be taken over. Now, what he's gonna do is after he hits this trigger, he's gonna walk, he's gonna turn to face the start point of the cutscene sequence, and he's gonna walk there, stop, and then rotate to be facing towards where the cutscene starts, if that makes sense. And that's so, it doesn't matter how we hit the trigger, he'll always walk to the, right position first so see now he goes there follows it around and then it ends up exactly between his legs he followed it like to a t which is cool so as you can imagine this tool could be really useful for making cutscenes in the future it's quite basic at the moment like it's just you know movement actions so later on i'm going to be incorporating sounds that can be played for dialogue into each one of these so to start making a cutscene, let me delete this cutscene first we right click in the project view create cutscene now we can call it whatever we want so i'll just call it test cutscene Okay, now over here and under path tools, I wanna select the start marker, which is basically, uh, that's the arrow that's gonna be pointing. It's badly named because I re need to rename everything. Uh, cutscene start is this little green orb here. So we're gonna select that. And then the path marker, which is basically the little trails that will draw the path behind the arrows okay so at the top here i've got two selections at the moment so movement or poses movement is all of the different movements that the character can do so pausing running running forward and turning left yada 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 all of that stuff so we'll just do walk forward for now for the first one and then the action time is uh, in seconds how long the action is going to take and if we're doing rotation <laughs> This is handily also how much the character will rotate by. So let's walk forwards for like 3.6 seconds, which is quite a while first. Okay, now we'll preview that. Whoa, <laughs> that is quite a while. Okay, so let me move back a bit here. Okay, so next I'll add a new cutscene action. Next we're gonna walk forwards and turn left for yeah, about 90 degrees is good, I think. It could be any number, it's arbitrary. Okay, so preview path and let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, we turn left 90 degrees or for 0 0.9 seconds. And then let's do some more. So then we're gonna, let's, let's turn it a bit of an odd number now. So let's turn left again, but let's go like, I don't know, 0.74 seconds or 74 degrees okay so as you can see now this arrow is pointing slightly more in this direction so we'll create more of a diagonal if we keep going straight here so let's go forward do, do, do. okay walk forward again for 0.9 and then maybe let's turn left and run at the same time for a little bit Let's run and turn left for, yeah, sure. Why not 0 0.9 again? Actually, let's mix it up. Let's have like 0 0.53, okay? So you'll notice the spacing is bigger between that and that helps us indicate that he's actually running. 
And now we can maybe, let's rotate on the spot. Let's turn right like 180 degrees. Let's backtrack on ourselves. Okay, so I'll put in 1.8 here. Okay, so now I can press preview. So it's, he's turning back now. And then I'll go walk forwards. And let's do that for 1.76, cause why not? Okay, so it's a bit of a messy path, but as you can see, you can tell what's gonna happen. You can tell exactly where the character's gonna end up. Okay, so now I just need to assign the cutscene object to this cutscene here, test cutscene. And I'm gonna press play and let's have a look if we got the result we were expecting. Go, let's go. I'll approach on the other side this time so you can see it working. Okay, so he walks. Do, do, do. Oh, he kind of, <laughs> yeah, he walked off screen a bit there. But as you can see, he follows the path exactly. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for today. Next week, I'm just gonna be adding more features to this, uh, more tools to help the development and stuff of the cutscenes. So yeah, I hope you uh, like the video and like if you like, uh, dislike if you don't like, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.